you are here working in this place I worship you I worship you you are we make miracle work promise keep light in the darkness my God that is First Sunday of the month, everyone. Before we start, let me remind everyone po na ihanda ang ating mga communion elements, ang juice at ang bread para po sa ating communion mamaya. Okay? So, before we start, let me read to you Psalm 95 verses 1 to 3. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to Him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King of all gods. So, naniniwala ako na marami po tayong pinagpapasalamat o gustong ipagpasalamat pa sa Panginoon. Kaya naman, i-release natin na yun through our singing for today, through our praises for today. We will declare that God is great and we will make a joyful noise to Him with our songs of praise. Amen? So, sige po, i po tayo ng ating worship leader for today.
Amen. Hallelujah. Sige, para sa mga nag-overflow ang puso habang nag-worship kay Lord, pwede bang mag-comment po tayo ng heart sa comment section below. Ayan, and now let's go to our announcement. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ating um, online activities. Unang-una na po dyan ang Batang CSB every Sunday at 10 a.m. Pagkatapos po yan, we have our worship service at 10.30 a.m. And we do a replay in the afternoon at 5 p.m. Meron din po tayong midweek service or hunger night every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And Healing is Yours online every Friday at 8 p.m. Okay, but tuloy po tayo mag-tune in sa ating mga uh, online gatherings. And also, huwag niyo pong kalimutan na kung wala pa po, kayo, wala pa po kayong RG, do not forget to connect to our RG leaders or mag-message um, po sa aming Facebook page. Alright? Okay, so now let's welcome our um, head pastor, or senior pastor, Pastor Hiram Panglinan for the communion and for our word for today. Maraming salamat. Hello dear people, since this is the first Sunday of November, ang bilis po na panahon, ano? And uh, like what we always do on the first Sunday, we have our communion. So I trust na i-prepare na po ninyo yung inyong mga elements. You have your bread and you have your grape juice or whatever juice that you have at home, no? Let me read to you from the Gospel of Luke in chapter 22, starting in verse 14. Ang sabi po rito, When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table, and he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Verse 20, In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Meron po rito si Jesus na dalawang beses inulit na sinabi niya, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. And then he says again, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Sobra po ang excitement ni Jesus sa kingdom of God. He is just so looking forward to that day na tayo raw po makakasama niya sa isa pang communion wherein he will be partaking the bread and the fruit of the vine or the grape juice once again when the kingdom of God has found its fulfillment soon malapit na malapit na po and so at this point we will again partake of the bread and the fruit of the vine and it is our prayer lord so be it maranatha come lord jesus panginoon maraming salamat that through this celebration of the communion napapaalalahanan din po kami malapit na kayong bumalik and so, Lord, as we partake of the bread, I have the bread right here. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that we will always be thankful of what you took upon yourself. Your body was wounded, was bruised, was broken so that we might be made whole. Salamat po, Panginoong Jesus. And Lord, would you bless my brothers and my sisters as we partake of the bread. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's partake of the bread. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just declare right now, 
sa lahat ng aking mga kapatid. Whatever is broken in your life, we prophesy to the brokenness. Be it a broken body, meaning may sakit ka. Be it a broken relationship. Be it a broken finance. Broken emotions. Whatever is broken. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we're just declaring your grace upon your people, the grace to be made whole right now in Jesus' name. Everybody say, I receive it. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. And I have here the juice, no? And Lord, we thank you that through the fruit of the vine, we can be reminded it's a new covenant because the old covenant could not make anyone righteous. The old covenant could not make anyone receive forgiveness and receive eternal life. Pero salamat po, your sacrifice was perfect. And because of that, we have a new relationship with God and we can cry out, Abba, Father. Salamat po, Panginoong Jesus. It's only by your blood. Thank you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's partake of the juice. Hallelujah. It's all because of you, Jesus. It's all because of you. The praises go back to you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. For our message today, it's coming from 1 Corinthians so chapter 12, starting in verse 7 down to verse 13. Let me read this to you from the NIV. Now, to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one, there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another, a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit, to another, gifts of healing by that one Spirit, to another, miraculous powers, to another, prophecy, to another, distinguishing between spirits, to another, speaking in different kinds of tongues, and to still another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and he distributes them to each one just as he determines. Verse 12, Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one Spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. Ang ganda po nitong nabasa natin just now, and I don't know if you were able to see it, pero may paulit-ulit dito na character. Nakita nyo? That's the Holy Spirit. And so I would like to talk about the Holy Spirit and the believer. Grabe po ang dami ng roles ni Holy Spirit sa ating lahat. Grabe ang role ni Holy Spirit sa buhay natin. And just in this short passage, ito lang pong few verses na binasa ko sa inyo, meron po ako nakita na ilang mga bagay that the Holy Spirit is doing every day in our lives. no? And uh, we need to be very thankful to Holy Spirit that He is always at work in our lives. So, without further ado, pag-aralan po natin. The Holy Spirit and the believer. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, once again, I come to you and I'm asking, inspire me, speak to me, and speak through me, speak to my brothers and my sisters. Lord, gusto ka naming ma-appreciate, gusto ka naming makilala pa ng higit. Salamat po. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Can you just say, thank you, Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you, Holy Spirit. Amen. We acknowledge, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We give you room, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Hallelujah. Alam niyo po, sa totoo lang ha, sa three persons in one God, what we call the Trinity, si Holy Spirit po siguro ang pinakakonti ang attention na, na ibibigay natin. More often than not, we call God Father, we pray Father, and we talk to Jesus. So we get to address God the Father, we get to address God the Son, pero si God the Holy Spirit, kulang na kulang tayo. And so, this passage, gusto ko lang, I well, ngayon pala sinasabi ko sa inyo, hindi po ito exhaustive. This will be a study on the role of the Holy Spirit in the lives of the believers based only on these verses that we read. All right? So, iisa-isayin ko sa inyo ano-ano ba yung role ni Holy Spirit sa atin based on what we have just read. And I'm going to do it, I'm going to present it to you in the chronological order that it happens in our lives. All right? So, hindi po ito na, na nagsimula sa verse 7, pababa. No, it's in the chronology of how does Holy Spirit interact with us no, in our personal lives. So, let's start. Unang-una. Yung sinabi po rito in verse 13. No? Ang sabi rito, For we were all baptized by one Spirit so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free. Yung una pong lesson, I got it from that verse. No? We were all baptized by one Spirit. So, first lesson, the Holy Spirit and the believer, the Holy Spirit baptizes us to join the body. Ulitin ko po, the Holy Spirit baptizes us to join the body. It says here, we were all baptized by one Spirit so as to form one body. Now, I want to be very clear here. Yun pong nag dito, it says that the Holy Spirit baptizes us so that we can join the body. Meron po akong ipapakita sa inyo. In the Bible, there are actually two baptisms. Well, may iba pa, no? pero two baptisms na dapat nating mailinaw. Una, yung sinabi ni John, the baptizer concerning Jesus. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 11, ang sabi rito ni John, sabi niya, I baptize you with water for repentance. This is John baptizing with water. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. He's referring to Jesus, obviously. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. So dito sa sinabi ni John, who will baptize who with what? Jesus baptizes the believers with Holy Spirit and fire. Now, that's different. Jesus baptizes us with Holy Spirit. Okay? Malinaw yun, ha? Jesus baptizes us with Holy Spirit. Pero ito namang sinasabi ni Apostle Paul, this is different. This is the Holy Spirit baptizing us to be a part of the body of Christ. Oo nga, ano? Nakita niyo magkaiba? Ulitin ko ha, when Jesus baptizes us with Holy Spirit, it is a baptism of power. Pero, ito po sinasabi naman ni Apostle Paul ay, it is Holy Spirit baptizing us so that we can be a part of the body of Christ. Gusto ko po linawin. When the Apostle Paul uses the word baptize, he means this, to wash. So, he washes us clean. He immerses us. Nung nilinis na tayo ni Holy Spirit, sabi niya, o oh, sige, Hiram, isasali na kita sa body. So, when did this happen? When did the baptism of Holy Spirit into the body of Christ happen? happened to us it happened when we got born again john chapter 3 ito po tayo ah john chapter 3 in verse 3 let's look at this uh, sabi rito very truly jesus replied 
I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Jump to verse 5. Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. So when did it happen that the Holy Spirit baptized us to join the body? When we got born again. Yun po yun. So yun ang unang-unang role ni Holy Spirit sa buhay natin. Ano ginawa niya? Noong nanampalataya po tayo kay Jesus, the Holy Spirit baptized us. Everybody say baptize. The Greek word is baptizo. Pareho rin. Baptize, baptizo. Which is to say, He washed us. He washed us. So nung tumanggap po tayo kay Jesus, ang unang-unang ginawa ni Holy Spirit, Halika, Hiram, dahil ikaw ay tumanggap na kay Jesus, linisin kita and I will graft you in or I will join you into the body of Christ. Ganon din po ang ginawa sa inyo ni Holy Spirit. Kaya tayong lahat, regardless what um, what uh, church you go to, kung kayo pa hindi church so blessed, what denomination you belong to, lahat ng mga believers, basta na nampalataya kay Jesus, si Holy Spirit po, ang una niyang ginawa, He baptized us, meaning He washed us, He immersed us, um, um, binanla, hinugasan tayo, and then He joined us into the body of Christ. Amen? So, yun unang-unang papel ni Holy Spirit. That is Holy Spirit working. So, noong unang-una pa lang po, tandaan natin to, unang-una pa lang, Nung nanampalataya tayo kay Jesus, si Holy Spirit po, may papel na kaagad. He washed us clean, He baptized us, and He joined us into the body of Christ. Andar tayo. The second role of Holy Spirit. Sa verse 13 pa rin tayo. For we were all baptized, everybody say baptized, by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. There you go. And we were all given, we were all given the one spirit to drink. Everybody say drink. Pangalawa po. The Holy Spirit is given us to drink. O oh, ito hindi natin masyadong alam. Alright? Ang alam lang natin, o oh, sige, si Holy Spirit, He baptized us, hinugasan niya tayo, isinama na niya tayo sa body. But after we are joined into the body, what does Holy Spirit expect of us? Anong hinihintay niya? Ito po yan. He is waiting for us to drink of Him. We were given the one spirit to drink. Iniinom daw si Holy Spirit. Well, of course, this is figurative language, which is to say, we partake of Him. Naalala niyo yung sinabi ni Jesus in John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. Let me read it to you. Ang sabi rito, On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let Anyone who is thirsty, come to me and drink. So, lalapit na kay Jesus. Jesus, I am thirsty. That's what we're singing. Jesus, I am thirsty. Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Verse 38, whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this, he meant the Spirit whom those who believed in Him were later to receive. Up to that time, the Spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified. So dito, sinasabi ni Jesus, pag si Holy Spirit, kinuha na kayo, isinama na kayo sa body, meaning you are now a believer, you are now part of the church, then start drinking of Him. Uminom na tayo. Oh, if you're thirsty, come on, drink some more, drink some more. Jesus is actually encouraging each one of us, drink some more. Ito po ang tanong ko sa atin. Iniinom ba natin si Holy Spirit? 
Do we drink of Him? Oh, Holy Spirit, I thirst of you. I want you. We need to let Holy Spirit know. Holy Spirit, gusto ko pong uminom ng presensya ninyo. We need to drink of Him. We need to drink of the fountain. Ang sabi rito, we were all given the one Spirit to drink. Do you remember on the day of Pentecost? You remember ito eh. Alam natin to That the Holy Spirit descended. He came like tongues of fire. Yun, alam natin tongues of fire, hindi ba? And then He came like a mighty rushing wind. Alam natin yun. Pero yung drink, o nga no, alam ko yung tongues of fire, bumaba siya. Alam ko rin yung mighty rushing wind. Pero yung drink, meron ba nun? Yes! Because you remember in Acts chapter 2, verse 13, ano sabi ng mga tao? Ano sabi ng mga tao? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. Ah, there you go. They have had too much wine. But sasabihin nyo ng mga observers, Probably, probably, because the observers, the outsiders were looking at the believers and they were saying, Bakit mukhang mga drunk ito? Now, why would a person be drunk? Because he started drinking of Holy Spirit. And it is very possible, ito po mga believers na ito noon, they really knew how to drink of Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. Mga kapatid, probably this is that one thing in our relationship with Holy Spirit that we don't do enough of. Baka, baka kaya natutuyuan tayo. We're not drinking of Holy Spirit. Baka kaya tayo, Lord, bakit ako powerless? Lord, bakit wala akong, parang wala akong anointing? Lord, bakit parang walang gumagaling sa pinagpe-pray ko? Lord, bakit parang wala na, nasisira na mga chains or bandages when I pray for people? Baka naman, we are not drinking enough of Holy Spirit. Sabi rito eh, we were all given the one Spirit to drink. Everybody say, Drink, <laughs> gulp, 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 di ba? Lagok, lagok, lagok. We need to drink of Holy Spirit. In Ephesians, in chapter 3, look at this, ha? Gaano bang karami ang pwede nating inumin kay Holy Spirit? Listen, Ephesians chapter 3, verses 16 to 19. Ang sabi ni Apostle Paul, I pray. Ito na rin po ang prayer ko. I pray that out of His glorious riches, He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit. Everybody say Spirit. Through His Spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Verse 19, And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be, listen, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Oh my goodness. So when we drink of Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, ang gusto ko po, I will drink of you so that I may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Oh, wow. I don't know if you have ever dreamt of just having so much of God. Just having so much of Holy Spirit. Pastor, gaano bang kasobra ang pwede? Ito po yan eh. Up to the measure of all the fullness of God. Noon pong nabasa ko ito, sabi ko, Panginoon, ang layo-layo ko pa. And I would say, Panginoon, ang layo-layo pa po ng bride of Christ. 
Ang layo pa ng church. Ang layo pa natin. But see, the plan of Holy Spirit was this. Hindi lang po huminto sa number one eh. Madalas humihinto tayo sa number one eh. Huy, sapat na ako doon. Nung I got baptized with the Holy Spirit so that I will join the body of Christ, at least born again ako. Yun po yun eh. That is what it means. Holy Spirit baptized us to join the body of Christ. That's the born again experience. At madalas huminto na tayo hanggang doon lang eh. Okay, I'm now born again. At least puputo na ako ng heaven. At least I have eternal life. But that is not the plan of Holy Spirit. Yung pagkatapos niya tayong i-baptize into the body of Christ, meaning we became born again, now He wants us to drink of Him. How much of Him? To the measure of all the fullness of God. Oh Lord, ang layo ko po, ang bitin ko po, ang kulang ko po. Holy Spirit, I want to drink, I want to drink. I want to drink of you. Oh, Holy Spirit, I confess, Lord, kulang na kulang ako sa pag-inom sa inyo. Oh, we need to drink of Holy Spirit. He is offering us. He is offering us to be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Sayang ito, mga kapatid. What Holy Spirit is offering to all of us, He is offering us all of the fullness of the measure of God. Hallelujah! Kulang na kulang. Ang totoo po niyan, you know what? If we are not going to study the Word, if we're not going to study the Bible, na hindi nga natin malalaman eh, inu-offer pala ni Holy Spirit sa atin, up to the measure of all the fullness of God. Ganoon pong kalalim. Kaya nga sinabi rito that I pray, the Apostle Paul said, I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. It is so vast, so vast that He is telling us you can be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Sa totoo lang po, it is not going to be God's fault anymore pagka tayo ay tuyo. It's not going to be God's fault anymore pag tayo ay powerless. It's not going to be God's fault anymore if we are living sinful, compromising, defeated lives. Not anymore. Why? Because Holy Spirit is offering Himself to you. He is offering Himself to me right now. Hi, Ram. I'm here. Drink of me. Drink of me. Drink of me. Si Jesus po, He will always drink of Holy Spirit. That's why He's always full. He's full of the glory of God every day. That's what God wants for all of us as well. Dito, mga naalala ko, yung mga kagaya ni Smith Wigglesworth. Oh, wow. The story goes that He would enter that room until He is so filled with the glory of God May mga nagtangka na sumama kay Smith Wigglesworth. They wanted to know what was the reason for, for the intense power in his ministry. Bakit may mga tumutub, mga putol na kamay, tumutubo, they, they would grow out. May mga putol na legs, they would grow out. May mga walang mata, eyes, new eyes would come out. And they were wondering, Mr. Wigglesworth, What's your secret? I mean, it's no secret. I enter his presence. Anong ginagawa ni Smith Wigglesworth sa presence? He drinks of Holy Spirit. He drinks of Holy Spirit. And when he drinks of Holy Spirit, he is filled up, I would say, probably near the measure of the fullness of God. Sino sa inyo gusto ito? Sino sa inyo gusto ito? 
Mga kapatid, wala po kay Holy Spirit ang bola na sa atin. Because He's offering Himself to us. And all we need to do is drink. Everybody say, Lord Holy Spirit, I want to drink. Forgive me. Because I content myself with so little. Holy Spirit, I need you. I want you. Amen. Hallelujah. Number three. Dito naman po sa verse 7, makikita na natin. Ito na yung chronology. That's why I told you, hindi po ito yung from verse 7 pa baba. I'm just looking at the chronology of events. No, So balikan natin. Una, ang ginawa ni Holy Spirit, He baptized us so that we can join the body. By baptizing, it means He washed us clean. Isinama niya tayo sa body of Christ. And then after He baptizes us, now He's telling us, drink of me. Drink of me. No? And so, the more we drink of Him, the more of the glory that we take upon our lives. Now, verse 7, andar tayo. Now, to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. And then the Apostle Paul starts listing down some of the gifts. No, Sabi rito, to one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, to another a message of knowledge, by means of the same Spirit, to another faith, gifts of healing, miraculous powers, prophecy, distinguishing between spirits, speaking in tongues, and the interpretation of tongues. So, dito po, sa verses 7 to 11, we see here the Apostle Paul discussing the Holy Spirit distributing gifts to us. And that's number three. Ano ang ginagawa ni Holy Spirit sa atin? After He baptized us, after He tells us to drink of Him, the Holy Spirit distributes gifts to us. Everybody say gifts. Ito po ang masarap isipin. Bawat isang believer, bawat isang tao, na tumanggap kay Jesus, ang tawag natin, born again. So regardless, regardless, inuulit ko, walang kinalaman ito anong grupo ang sinalihan ninyo. If you are a believer in Jesus, you're born again. If you're a believer in Jesus, you have Holy Spirit. And now, number three is that the Holy Spirit distributes gifts to all of us. Everybody say, I have gifts. Yes. Ako po, I have gifts. Every believer has gifts from Holy Spirit. Ito pa po yan. Itong verses 7 to 10 na binasa ko sa inyo, this actually contains nine gifts. Pero ito ang masarap eh. Parang uh, ito yung mga home shopping network. Alright? There's more. <laughs> There's always more. Hindi lang yan nine gifts. Kasi you look at this same, ah, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, sa verse 28 naman tayo. Lumundag tayo sa verse 28. Ang sabi rito, And God has placed in the church, first of all, apostles, second, prophets, third, teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, of helping, of guidance, and of different kinds of tongues. Verse 29, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work miracles, do all have gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues, do all interpret. Napansin ninyo ito? Here's another list. No? May, may panibagong listahan dito. Do sa verses 7 to 10, 9 gifts, and then verses 28 to 31, 9 more were listed with 5 of them newly mentioned. So, Oo nga, ano? And that's just chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians. May iba pa pong listahan sa Romans chapter 12. May iba pa pong listahan sa Ephesians chapter 4. At may iba pang listahan sa 1 Peter 4. The point being, si Holy Spirit po ang dami, dami, dami niyang gifts that have been distributed to every believer. So I'm telling you right now, ikaw, Yes, you, <laughs> ikaw na nanonood. Every believer, every born-again Christian has gifts from Holy Spirit. 
And it's just a matter of discovering what those gifts are. Yes. Paano ko malalaman, Pastor? Well, if you will attend yun pong aking Discovering Your Spiritual Gifts na seminar or lecture, ang simple lang naman, it starts with this, experiment with the gifts. Subukan mo lang. Unless you know what those gifts are, of course, no? Napaka-importante nun. Paano ko malalaman kung ano-ano yung mga gifts na yun? Uh, you can attend the Bible school next batch or you can attend pagka nag-offer ulit tayo ng, uh, ng uh, lecture on, on Holy Spirit. Pero ito po ang point eh. I, I can give you right now from, from the top of my head lang ha. Basahin po ninyo ang 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Doon marami na kayo makikita na gifts. 9 gifts plus 5. So 14 gifts agad makikita nyo ron. You have Ephesians chapter 4, doon lima uli. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Sa Romans chapter 12, I think you also have 9 or 10. So, ang dami nito. So, you can look it up and then isipin, Lord, meron ba ako nito? Like for example, hospitality, that's a gift. Giving, that's a gift. Serving, that's a gift. Teaching, that's a gift. Oh, ang dami pala niyan. Yes! And you need to know what those gifts are. Si Holy Spirit po, wala siyang tinawag na Kristiyano na walang silbe. Yun ang tandaan niyo. Hallelujah! Aren't you thankful? Aren't you thankful? Lahat po tayo. If you will just be honest about it, you have a role to play in the body of Christ. Wala pong ginawa si Holy Spirit sa church ng mga tambay. Wala pong ginawa si Holy Spirit sa church ng mga bangko. Alam niyo yung bangko? I've always used this illustration. Ako po kasi, trying hard na maging player sa basketball. At ang isa po sa pinakamalungkot na termino sa basketball, or for, probably for whatever team sport that may be there, ay yung tawagin kang bangko. Ano yung bangko? In English, it's bench warmer. Tagapagpainit ka lang ng silya dahil hindi ka nakakapaglaro. At sa church po, I want you to know this, walang tinawag si Lord na bangko. Each one of us, we have a role to play. You may be gifted by God in healing, or probably you may be gifted by God in serving. You may be gifted by God in encouraging. You may be gifted by God in just support. May mga taong pang background lang eh. Yung, oh, ayoko magturo, ayoko magturo. Ako po may kilalang ganun. Ayoko magturo. <laughs> Pagka sinabi ko sa kanya, magturo ka, Par ayun na talaga. Pero, pag serve mo, oh wow. Alam mo yun, uh, there are so many gifts. And I want you to know, Holy Spirit has gifted each one of us. Everybody say, I am gifted. Ito na lang eh. Halimbawa, ito pong ginagawa natin for so many months now. Actually, more than one year na nga eh. Ang dami natin puro online. Hindi po ba? Ako, I get to be here. I get to preach. I get to teach you. Camera. Ang kausap ko po ngayon, camera. Alam ba ninyo? <laughs> But I get to teach this. I, I get to do this every Sunday, every Wednesday. I get to do this every Friday. And then I get to preach in some other places now. Minsan nga po, one Sunday. Nagpipreach ako sa iba-ibang lugar. <laughs> Pero sa totoo lang po, this won't happen if nobody is behind the camera. Naisip nyo na yun? Somebody is behind this camera. Isa pong gwapong lalaki na ngayon ay may earphone at nakikinig sa akin at si Senya San ako sa dali. Daddy, yung tunog may mali. So, nachi-check niya kung tama ba yung tunog, kung tinatamaan ba ng hangin and then he will do something about it. O kaya naman, sandali, Daddy, kulang tayo sa ilaw. Alam mo yun? Somebody is behind this camera. He may not be seen, but if he's not there, you won't have anything to watch. Nakukuha nyo? Ito pa. Pagkatapos nito, papadala namin to sa isa pang gwapo rin na brother in the Lord. At ito yung mga tao ayaw nang magpabanggit ng mga pangalan. Pero sa totoo lang, 
Pagdating sa kanya, he gets to view this, he gets to edit this. Siya yung mga uh, mag-aayos para sa ganun. Hindi niyo makita yung mga bloopers na nangyayari behind the scene. And then somebody else works. Ano ba yung mga verses na ginamit ni Pastor Hiram? Isusulat nila yung mga verses na ito so that by the time you watch this, it's a finished product. Isa lang ang gumalaw? Hindi po. Ang daming gumalaw para dito sa isang mensahe na ito. Are you getting what I'm saying? What I'm saying is this. Everybody in the body of Christ is important. Everybody in the body of Christ is gifted. So use your gift. Amen? Sabihin nga ninyo, I will use my gift. Hallelujah. Finally, number four, andar po tayo. Verse 11, ang sabi niya, All these, I mean these, the gifts, the gifts, all these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and He distributes them to each one just as He determines. I like that word. Sabi rito, all these are the work of one and the same Spirit. I would like to highlight that word, work. Lahat ng yan. Ang dami ng mga gifts. So you have speaking in tongues, interpretation, healing, miracles, faith, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, discerning spirits, lahat yan. Serving, hospitality, giving, all this. Apostleship, teaching, prophecy, lahat yan. All these are the work. Everybody say work of one and the same spirit. This leads me to number four lesson. The Holy Spirit works His gifts in us. Yun ang masarap. The Holy Spirit, okay, binigay na sa iyo. Binigay na sa akin. We now have gifts. Pero ito po eh, it's not even us who will strive to work for this. It's still Holy Spirit. He works in us. He works His gifts in us. He activates the gifts in us so that we will understand, Hiram, hindi pa rin ikaw ang nagpapagaling. I may have the gift of healing now. I may be moving in the gift of deliverance now. But ultimately, it's still Holy Spirit. Kaya ang kinakailangan na talaga natin, basically, ito po yan, papakita ko sa inyo. Taas dalawang kamay at sabihin, Holy Spirit, I'm here. Use me. And when you give of yourself to Holy Spirit, He will do everything so long as you are giving to Him a surrendered life. Ha! <sighs> ang sarap po ng buhay ng isang Kristiyano kapag inalaw natin si Holy Spirit ang manguna sa atin. Isipin ninyo, siya na yung nagbaptize sa atin so that we can be a part of the body of Christ. And then what does He do? What He does is He empowers us. He gives us of Himself. We drink of Him. Get some more. Get some more. Sige, magpakapuno ka. And then He gives you the gifts. And after He gives you the gifts, Siya na rin ang mag-activate. So for example lang, gift of healing. Oh, Hiram, I gave you the gift of healing. So what happens now? May nakita ka na sick person? What is Holy Spirit waiting for? Oh, Hiram, ayan na, sick person. Okay, Lord, I'm here. Oh, sige, lapitan mo. Patong ng kamay. Will it be me who will heal? No, it's still Holy Spirit. Oh, gift of teaching, halimbawa. Oh, ayan na, may gustong makinig sa'yo. Oh, Hira, may gusto makinig sa'yo. What do you do? Okay, Lord, I'm here. I surrender. So I start to open my mouth and Holy Spirit is the one who gives me the words to say. He gives me the gifts, but He still works the gifts. What He's just looking for is a surrendered believer. Sino sa inyo gusto magpagamit kay Lord? And all you need to do is let Holy Spirit. 
Naalala ko po rito si Heidi Baker. I mean, you've seen him. We have all seen her. We've, we've seen her, no? Uh, a petite lady. Maliit lang siya. Hindi siya malaki. Pati yung boses niya, hindi naman ito yung bombastic na malakas. But this little lady, ang tawag nga niya sa, niya sa sarili niya, I'm just a uh, lady down in the dirt. She just lets Holy Spirit surrender to Holy Spirit, drinks of Holy Spirit, and allows Holy Spirit to take over. And so what has happened? She has brought about revival in the nation of Mozambique. One hundreds of thousands of souls planted more than 10,000 churches, healed so many people, raised back to life hundreds. Si Heidi ba may kagagawan? It's all Holy Spirit. But what Holy Spirit is looking for is somebody surrendered. He can do that to all of us as well. Amen? Amen? Let's pray. Holy Spirit, you're marvelous. You're wonderful. You're amazing. It's all you. It's just all you. And right, uh, right now, Lord, Holy Spirit, all that we can offer to you would be this. All that I can offer to you is, is this. Ito na po yun, Lord. And I'm saying, just take over. There's so much of you, so much of you that I have yet to receive, that I have yet to know, but I'm here. And I surrender. Mga kapatid, pwede taas lang natin dalawang kamay natin kay Holy Spirit. And just say this with me, Holy Spirit, I'm here. I am your temple. Wash me clean. Go ahead, sabihin mo, wash me clean. Baptize me. That's what baptism also means. It means to wash. Holy Spirit, baptize me. Wash me clean. And I drink of you. Holy Spirit, let me drink of you. Fill me up to overflowing. And let me be found faithful in using your gifts. Work your gifts in me. Use me, Lord. Some more of you upon my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. People, be surprised, be amazed because a surrendered life is what Holy Spirit is going to use. So He's going to use you some more. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, people, that's it for us today. And, uh, oh, just in case you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, Hey, the way to start a relationship with Holy Spirit is by surrendering to Jesus. Would you like to do that? Sige po, sumunod kayo sa akin. Sabihin nyo na to, Lord Jesus, I need you. I am a sinner. Forgive me. I repent. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I surrender to you. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. And fill me up with Holy Spirit. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hey, if you received Jesus just now, Holy Spirit has also come in. He is the Spirit of Jesus. Start this wonderful relationship with Him. It's a great adventure. Amen. Hey, people, I miss you all. I hope to see you soon. Makinig lang po kayo sa mga updates because we continue to pray for God's perfect will for church. So blessed. God bless you.